uh, over the past year of making these atheist videos, um, and maybe not over the past year, but in the last little while, things have maybe condensed since I've amassed this, you know, this uh, vault of um, of videos. <laughs> not so much a vault because it's actually you know really public. Um, not that anybody watches, but uh, anyway, going back to the story, um, I've had a couple people. Excuse me. I've had a couple people um, try to instill in me uh, what belief is. Um, now, these people weren't necessarily religious or anything like that, but um, the way they explain belief to me in, in some sort of subverted way um, is that belief is belief because it's belief. Um, or, you know, belief is true because it exists, so it must be true. Um, so I think, uh, you know, pulling from a Sam Harris lecture again, um, there's, there's a certain amount of filling in of the gaps that we do, um, you know, when, when we believe something. Um, and it's, it's almost a necessary part of life to live a fluid life because you can't technically, you know, look for empirical data every time you try to make any sort of move or, or make any decision in your life. So, you know, you can't live a fluid life that way. Um, so, you know, that's where prejudice comes from. Um, that's where, you know, that's where a lot of, you know, good things and bad things come from. Um, cause we necessarily fill in voids or gaps in order to make better decision without lack, with a lack of sufficient empirical data. Um, so belief exists, but it isn't true because it, it exists. Um, and you know, moving this to, you know, um, religious belief, it's it's more difficult to to pin down because I I'm a firm believer in narrative and I feel that religious belief fills in those gaps with divine narrative as espoused by an ideology. Um, so this is where I'm kind of, you know, um, taking from Zizek a little bit, but uh, that's 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 firmly what I believe. Um, or not necessarily believe, but I, you know, I, I've been through, you know, some religious experiences and it's, it's generally a story that needs to be told. Um, it's a way you have to live your life to meet an end point, which is God. Now on some level, you could see God as sort of like a static sort of immovable thing that has no narrative necessarily, or it's, it's sort of like this, this thing that is devoid of our, our intuitions and our, um, our, our need to fill in the gaps because it's just so immovable and static that it is it's there it's God it's it's omniscient it's you know it's there's nothing to be moved around because it, it encompasses everything including time um, so there's certain beliefs in, in certain religions that kind of see things that way and I think I think as as the world becomes more secular and, and maybe even less religious I would say that um, that people tend to have this kind of pantheistic or deist kind of understanding of God. So it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's, they, they tend to see it as this, um, dispersed sort of being, um, which is, is, which is in stark contrast to what classically you would call God, especially in, in, in Christendom or, or Islam or, or uh, Judaism. So, um, so there's a move to that, but I still believe there's a narrative that people have to play out, you know, the journey to God or, you know, uh, the, the life after death and how you live your life daily, et cetera, et cetera. So I wouldn't say that that belief or narrative, um, you know, uh, evidences itself, <laughs> um, you know, it's just a belief that we have that doesn't necessarily work out in a um, in, 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 in a good way. Uh, I mean, there's tons of examples of religious belief leading to very poor decisions, um, especially at the scale of religious belief. Uh, so my point being is that at the end of everything is that narrative instructs, um, narrative instructs the way people live their lives. And it's, it's not necessarily a narrative in the sense that there are given points to meet all the time, but it's a narrative in, in the sense that it gives a movement or a flow to your life that you feel is absolutely necessary, especially necessary, especially with religious belief. So, and an ideology always 
drives that narrative um, and people tend to follow that narrative because it seems to be what the ideology says. Um, so a bit of a blurry video today, um, you know, I was going to make a video in the park, but uh, the, wind the, the windswept grounds of the park um, were a bit uh, unruly, so I decided to come home and make this one to make up for my uh, public ineptitude. Or make up for something. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Bye.